Team Puerto Rico just came out with a statement to any team in the World Baseball Classic that they mean business. And when I say that, it's because they just pulled off one of the most perfect games in all of history. On top of that, it was the first ever perfect game in the World Baseball Classic. Coming off a low loss for Team Venezuela, Team Puerto Rico came into this game versus Team Israel feeling like they had to prove themselves, feeling like they kind of let their country down when they lost to Venezuela. And props to Venezuela for winning that game. That was a hard fought game. Of course, they lost by three runs at the end of it all, but they came into this game earlier today and dominated Team Israel. It was insane. Team Israel got mercy ruled 10-0 at the bottom of the eighth inning and the rest was history. The pitching today was electric. The hitting was crazy. Francisco Lindor was going off and I just want to talk about that today because Team Puerto Rico is looking disgusting and it's really going to become a very interesting topic as we get farther into the pool and when we actually find out what teams are going to be advancing. Four pitchers ended up combining for this perfect game in WBC history. And those four pitchers are, excuse me if I butchered them, but De Leon pitched a 5.2 innings and had 10 Ks. This dude was electric. He looked ecstatic when he was on that mound. All the energy was there. He was pitching extremely well. His fastball was in top-notch shape. We had Rios come in for 0.1 innings. We had Edwin Diaz close a full inning. And then we had Underwood Jr. close a whole inning as well. All these four pitchers combined for a perfect game. And of course, the person behind the plate was Martin Maldonado. If you don't know who that guy is, he plays for the Astros. But all these pitchers performed for a perfect game which has not ever been done in world baseball classic history the reason this matters is because this is a statement for the group if you guys are facing team puerto rico you better be scared because they're looking like the best possible team in this division listen francisco Lindor showed out huge today the dude had two hits he drove in three runs i think we all understood that after francisco Lindor hit that bases clearing triple it was over team puerto rico had this in the bag all that was left of course was to get that no hitter victory and of course they did that you had kiki going crazy as well he had two hits as well he had two rbis the dude is producing numbers you had people like javi baez doing really well he had two rbis as well he had two hits he had two runs team puerto rico is looking good man it was just great to see everyone hitting on this team we had eddie rosario get another hit we had kike hitting in two people at one point we had emmanuel rivera hitting a triple for puerto rico everyone was hitting and that's what went right with team puerto rico now do i think anyone like team israel was like tipping their pitches or something like that i don't know i think team puerto rico just came out and played because they felt like they lost the game they should have won when they faced venezuela this pool is just tough it's great to see this type of competition and the reason i love this for the wbc is because first of all it's never happened before and second of all it's gonna add a ton of competition for this whole pool the pool's kind of messed up now right team puerto rico has to play three more games they're two and one right now after this israel is one and one there's plenty of people in this division that can make it out and it's really tough if you want to look at it in this division, there's still venezuela which kind of upset puerto rico like i said earlier in the video and you have the dominican republic that's one one and you have nicaragua which is oh three right now nicaragua is probably not going to make it out but puerto rico and venezuela being two one and two oh is really interesting because if venezuela drop a game and say dominican republic wins a the game there's going to be a three way tie there's a possibility for a four-way tie as well of israel if israel actually upsets another team it's going to be very interesting at the end of all teams that play five matches and of course we know venezuela is looking really crispy they beat dominican republic they beat puerto rico they're looking like the unstoppable underdogs at this moment venezuela upset dr everyone thought the dr was going to win they lost their first game in their pool and then of course the dr bounced back and ended up winning their second game which they showed out and did really really well i think this is going to be a crazy pool all these teams want to make it out if venezuela drops a game i think that's where we get kind of scared but if they go 3-0 you know they are going to make it out of that pool i think if the dr drops another game it'll be scary as well because i don't think they'll make it out even though they have a ton of talent i think this division is going to be very interesting the next couple of days and i'm really curious what you guys think are you guys happy that puerto rico threw a perfect game and you know are you excited to see what puerto rico is going to do for the rest of the wbc it's crazy to think that we are already making history in the world baseball classic and we still are only in the pools i am very excited to continue this journey i really want to know what your guys opinions are in the comment section down below do you guys enjoy this type of style of format do you think puerto rico and all these type of countries should have been in a different pool what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below i'm excited for team puerto rico i'm puerto rican let's go baby